Oh my god. That is unbelievable. My protein, you've smashed it out of the park with this one. So today I'm gonna to be trying some of the weirdest my protein protein flavors so you don't have to. And when I say weird, I mean golden syrup and apple crumble and custard weird. Not gonna lie, I'm quite excited for this video because I always go for like the safer bets like the vanilla or the chocolate, but we can find some absolute gems in this video. The flavors I'm gonna be trying are sticky toffee pudding, mocha, not a big fan of coffee, so I don't know how that will go. Apple crumble and custard, which I'm very excited for. Golden syrup, which I'm not so excited for. White chocolate. Does anyone know what a strawberry jam roly-poly is? Like, a roly-poly is like one of these, one of those insects, and like, is it just covered in strawberry jam? Blueberry cheesecake. Termasu, which is probably like the coffee, other coffee one. This one I'm very excited for. Cinnamon Danish flavor. Like, that sounds so good. Chocolate orange is a safe bet. And vanilla raspberry, I'm going for two safe ones, one chocolate and one vanilla, and that's it. I'm gonna be testing these all with water because I'm pretty sure if cat piss was a flavor of protein powder, it would still taste good with milk, and that's just cheating. And also it's lower in calories. Okay, so I got 11 cups and 11 sachets of protein powder. So the plan is to put like a little sample, I think about five grams into each of these with about 30 mils of water, stir them up with a spoon, and then just give them a review. Okay, so we're gonna start with one of the safe ones. It's vanilla raspberry flavor. Let's give it a whiff. <laughs> Let's give it a taste. To be honest, it doesn't smell amazing, but well, that's actually really good. That is a lot better than I was expecting. There's a little bit of clumps in it, but the clumps even taste good. Mmm. Like kind of a vanilla raspberry yogurt or something like that. Even with the water, it's really good. I was not expecting that. I don't want to go too high. I'm going to go with seven. Seven out of ten. We'll make a whole like leaderboard at the very end. See which one's the actual best. But yeah, that one's a good one. That one's a good one. I'm going to pick a random one in. I don't even know the flavors. Okay. Oh God. So we have this weird strawberry jam insect roly poly one. I really don't want to know what this is. And I'm, oh, this was the one I was dreading. I really don't want to try this one. That smells really, really good. So it's quite a nice pink color. Oh, it smells, what is, it smells like cereal. No, it smells like a brunch. Do you know the brunch? The brunch ice creams, these things. That's what it smells like. There's not enough, there's not enough powder. It just doesn't really taste like much. It has a slight strawberry taste to it. I feel like you need a, a better concentration, but it's not amazing. It's not bad tasting, but it just doesn't really taste like much. I'd say five out of 10. I mean, it was better than I was expecting. Okay, next one. We have cinnamon Danish flavor. Oh, I'm excited for this one, I'm excited for this one. I've been craving pastries so badly. Whenever I go into Lidl and I see those pecan tarts, oh my God, does it smell good? Ooh, it smells like cinnamon curry sauce. That kind of, that kind of worries me a bit more. Apple, ooh. That would be really good in milk. Very cinnamony. It would be good, it would be good in baking as well. Apple crumble porridge, or cinnamon and apple baked oats, that would be really good in it. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10, because it has way more flavor than the strawberry, but it's not as tasty with the water. I mean, you know what, I'm gonna give it a seven, because I know this will be so good with other stuff. Okay, so I'm starting to feel very ill after those three, so I'm gonna go for one more, and then I'm gonna need a break. So the last one will be, Mocha. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of coffee. Like, I only ever have coffee when it's black and I just chug it. Don't listen to me with this one. I'm gonna give it a bad review, I know it. Oh, it just, it just smells like my black coffee. I have bad memories from that. It just tastes like coffee. It's not the worst. It has a little bit of a chocolate tinge to it, definitely. If you like coffee, this one's gonna be right down your street. It's not the worst one. I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six just because I know some people out there will like it. But I just gotta like let it digest for a while because I feel mildly ill. Blueberry cheesecake. Now this is this is more down my alley. I like blueberries, I like cheesecake. Oh, it smells really good. Oh that's good. And not it's not properly mixed, but the chunks are even tasty. <sighs> I feel so fancy. Okay, ready? Let's practice our shot game. This is the, probably the closest I'm gonna get to a bar in 2021. Yo, Chad, get over here. Jeez. What are you drinking? Oh, I'm drinking some apple crumble and custard. But nice. It's busted. I'm drinking some strawberry roly poly jam. It's lit. I am truly sorry you had to witness that. That was supposed to be funny. I know it was not, but I could not put it in. <sighs> so after 10 minutes of sitting on the toilet and contemplating my life decisions, we're back. And we're ready to conquer some more flavors. Okay, apple crumble and custard. This is the one I've been looking forward to. Interesting. 
It's kind of like sour apple. A mix of sour apple and vanilla. That's actually probably my favorite photo so far. I think I added a bit too much water, so the flavor was died down a bit. But that's going straight up there. That's getting a, an 8.5. An 8.5, so that's the top of the bag. Okay. Sticky toffee pudding. Oh, we're getting into the good ones now. We're getting into the good ones now. It smells, it doesn't have much of a smell to it, to be honest. I'm kind of disappointed by that. Do I have some on my nose? I think I have some on my nose. This, this could look sus. This could look very sus. No. No, I don't like that one at all. I'm not the biggest fan of sticky toffee pudding, so maybe if you like sticky toffee pudding, it could be worth your while. But no, not for me, not for me. Okay, next we're gonna be trying the white chocolate. I have this in whey islip, but I've actually never tried it like mixed. I've only had it like in my porridge. And it's pretty good. It kind of tastes like those white chocolate button things. Oh, this one smells good. Okay, okay, okay. Any of the white ones could be like really sus, especially when it's on a weighing scales. Like there's just white powder all over my weighing scales now. That's probably the best one yet. That is really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna give that actually, I'm gonna give that one an 8.7. Oh, nine. No, I'm gonna give that a nine. That was really, really good. We're down to the last three. Golden syrup. I'm not excited for that one. Tiramisu, no. Chocolate orange. I want this one. So uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go to golden syrup now. I'm gonna finish it off strong with chocolate orange. I'm just gonna get these two dreaded ones out of the way. Yeah, it smells like golden syrup. Like who thinks that's a good idea? Like, oh yes, I would love to just drink a cup of golden syrup. It's like drinking a cup of honey, except full of sugar. How can anyone do that? Do I have some more on my nose? This is getting really sus. I don't know, it's just too rich for me. They're too rich. If you like like really sweet, rich stuff, they could be for you. They kind of have a tinge of coffee to them as well. Not a big fan of that, not a big fan of those. That's another two. I like tiramisu, but from what I've gotten from the other cakey kind of sweet, sweet things like that, not exactly ideal. Okay. I mean, it's the best out of the coffee ones. I'll give it to it. It's the best out of the coffee ones. If you're looking for a coffee one, I would not not recommend this. I'll give it a five. Now the last one, I've only heard good things about this. Chocolate orange. I've heard it tastes like Terry's chocolate orange and that's what I need. I don't think these last ones, these last ones are getting a fair chance because my stomach's just not having it. To be honest, I, I, I would recommend, if you're going and planning on mixing it with water, I recommend the clear way. The grape flavor is really good. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is unbelievable. That is genuinely the best thing I've ever tried. That tastes exactly like Terry's orange. Even just the clumps taste really good. Oh my God. That is the best protein powder I've ever tried. That is a new winner. That is a 9.5, a 9.5. I don't want to give it a 10 because I'm sure there's a way of getting it better, but Jesus Christ, that was good. So yeah, this is the end of the video. That's the table of ratings. Let me know if you disagree with any of them and also make sure to check out some of these videos. They're absolutely banging. Oh, and also please like and subscribe.